I will just say some recent news with George R. Martin has forced my hand, and I've got to concentrate a little bit more on George for a little bit. So apologies, I did want to do a slightly larger video. The way the YouTube channel is set up, it's friendly to new people and old people. So you look at what you want to look at. If you want to look at George, you want to look at Dune, you tap onto whatever you want to look at, whether it's zombies or Stephen King or whatever. But I'll just say this is more of a quickie than I wanted it to be. So, But let's get to Dune because that's what people clicked on for. So Rebecca has made an interesting confession. Now, she's said this for quite a while. This is nothing new in terms of groundbreaking news, but I thought it was kind of cute and fascinating. So, of course, she gets hired for Dune. She knows it's based on a book, and she tried. She says she tried. She really tried to read the source material and really understand the character. So Rebecca's very talented. I know we can't avoid this. She's a very, very good-looking woman. So there's no doubt she gets work because she's very, very good-looking. She's very sexy. She's very beautiful. But I do think, on the whole, she's actually a very good actress and very intelligent. So she's not stupid, and she did put an effort in and is very much in awe of what they did with Dune. So she's very proud of the work. She hopes the most amount of people see it. They hope they appreciate the work that was put in. But she's also being fairly honest that she did give it a try to read the story, but just stopped. Now, this is from over a year ago that, because again, remember, Dune was supposed to come out earlier. And apparently she still has not finished the book. Now, I'm not going to do one of these, the fan, well, you're disappointing us. You should really give it a try. No, she gave it a try, and I understand her perspective. I think what she's trying to say is this. If you're not paying attention, you will read the book and think, oh, this is a really nice adventure story. It's just an epic adventure story about these warring houses. It's really fun and interesting. And missed a lot of the deeper messages or a lot of the deeper complexities. So I actually congratulate her that she caught on quickly enough that this isn't what I think it is. It's not just an adventure story. There's a lot more going on here but I don't quite know how to understand it or unpack it. Now, I myself am more of a researcher, obviously, that's why I'm doing the YouTube channel, and that's my orientation. It's not just as a fan, though I am a fan, but also as a researcher. So, you know, there are books on Dune. Now, I can testify that the books and articles are a little bit all over the place, so they themselves require a lot of intelligence to work through because the things that are going on in Dune, the philosophies, the ideologies, the politics, the world building, the cultures being alluded to is just a lot. So you need to know a lot in the first place or you're not going to go very far because this is going to inundate you with historical, philosophical, religious references. So I give her, you know, I'm going to give her a pass. I think it's fine if she doesn't finish the book or never really completes it because, again, it's better that you kind of understand how big and enormous this thing is than pretend to understand what's going on. You know, having false knowledge, I think, is not a good thing because you'll be found out eventually saying, oh, you finished the book? Yes. And say, well, what do you think it's about? Oh, you know, it's about a boy and his worm. And, you know, they fight people. And, uh, yeah, they win at the end. Bad guys lose. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great story. I hope Denis does a great job adapting it. And I was in the movie. Please go see it. So I prefer her just saying... I was lost. I really don't know what the hell's going on here. I'm going to lean on Denis. He's going to explain to me, what the hell is this thing? I mean, I kind of understand what's going on, but I kind of really don't understand what's going on. This thing is really dense. I'm really trying to figure out what this is. And as I find her cute. Now, obviously, I'm not going to lie. I'm very biased towards her. But I don't know. I don't think it's total bias. I think it's a really serious, sincere actress who's just realizing, wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was, and uh, I'm not going to climb this mountain because that's just too exhausting, and that's fine. I mean, you can purchase the book, give the author what he deserves, and give it a chance, and just be like, this is not a bad book, but this may be beyond my scope, and I respect that. I do respect that. I mean, believe me, there are many times I read a Stephen King thing, and I'm like, I don't want to finish this, and if I wasn't doing a YouTube channel, I wouldn't be finishing it. I'd be like... Okay, I understand where you're going with this, but this really feels like pointless. Sometimes it's a good pointless, like, oh, this is really profound, it's beyond me. Or it's like a bad pointless, like, you're just being really self-indulgent. And yes, it's very complex and it's a really riddle, but I don't care about the riddle. I just, uh, I, I don't really like where this story is going. Please finish it as soon as possible. But of course, the Stephen King book is sometimes a lot longer than it should be. So that's where we are. So I, I'm going to say I give her a lot of respect for being brutally honest and saying I... Don't think I really know, understand what Dune is about, but I think we did a great movie and I'm really proud of it. So please go see it. And I 
echo that, that this is a great work. And I think Denis is going to do a great job with it. But it is a very deep, complex work. And if you try it and you stop and you give up, that's fine. I'm not going to be too harsh on people who have not read the book or even going to attempt the book because it is a different kettle of fish. The movie, by definition, has to be more open to new people. But the book is... It does not make a lot of concessions. If you're going to do it, you have to try to meet it halfway with a lot, a lot of background. If you don't, probably going to be lost or just read it at a very superficial level. This has been Worlds of Dune on Rebecca's Confession. Thank you for listening.